the message here to the business community from where you sit? Because, um, you know, we, we do talk about the debt ceiling as something that will pass, but when it comes down to this level of, frankly, um, it seems like both sides seem to feel like they're in a somewhat victorious or strong position, there's real concern that you're not seeing how this plays out. If there's a risk of a credit rating, I mean, tell me from where you said, how seriously do you think this is being treated on both sides at this juncture? Maybe come, you know, a week well, before the end of May, it'll be treated pretty yeah, seriously. So for me personally, um, I have always been concerned about what the next debt ceiling increase fight would look like. That is why back in October and November, I led a letter of 30 House Democrats urging that we raise the debt ceiling then. And that was, as I mentioned, in mid-October. I wanted to see the debt ceiling raised well in advance of now because knowing the history of 2011, I did foresee that uh, this was a scenario that was very much in play. And I deeply regret that the debt ceiling was not increased may back I, then. May I ask one other yeah. question, Congressman, which is we're in a period of rising rates. And I know that, of course, the Fed is independent. Um, but if, you know, as the debt becomes so, that's the, our ability to service the debt right. in this environment becomes very difficult. Have there been discussions or what's your view in terms of this rising interest rate environment, given the level of debt that the U.S., frankly, is facing in any case? Well, even before you get to the issue of servicing the debt, which, of course, it will now uh, it costs us more now to service the debt than it did a year ago before yeah. uh, Jay Powell and his colleagues on the FOMC started raising rates. I have publicly expressed concern that the Fed is raising rates uh, too greatly in too short a time period. I wish they would have paused to see, A, the impact of all those Fed uh, increases that have already happened, B, what effect this, I'm not sure if I want to call it banking crisis, but certainly... Well, I mean, I would say serious so we, concerns. We've had some bank failures. We've had some uh, bank failures. There are questions about whether or not there'll be more. Obviously, the there's Fed? a there's a conflicted view on whether yeah. or not there'll be more, but there's that uncertainty. And then number three, um, we do have this sort of political risk as a result of this debt ceiling fight. So those are three big factors that, in my mind, would argue for the Fed pausing here, wait a couple months to see the latest data. To what extent are those three cumulatively having an effect on the economy? There's an unfortunate history. If you go back over the last half century, any time the Fed has either pursued consecutive rate increases or consecutive rate decreases, it has been more often the case than not that they did it to too high a degree and they kept that policy for too long. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I hope we don't repeat history here.